In this tutorial, we're going to create a shared folder in Google Drive. Creating a shared folder in Google Drive will allow you to quickly and easily share any documents that you might want to uh, distribute to another person or a group of people. The first thing we need to do is uh, create a new folder. So when you're logged into Google and you're on Google Drive, go ahead and click Create and Folder. You want to give the folder a name. Now think about the people that you have working in your building. If you have any traveling staff that work in multiple buildings, it might be a good idea to add your building name to this folder name so that teachers who work in multiple buildings can uh, distinguish between shared folders, uh, which, building, which folder goes to which building. Once you've decided upon a name, go ahead and click Create. This will go ahead and create that folder and open that folder in Google Drive. Now you're not going to see anything here because that folder is newly created so it's empty. Um, but we're going to go ahead and add some documents to it here in a minute. Let's go ahead and click back on My Drive. And now we're going to share that folder with our staff. So we're going to hover over the folder that you just created. You will see an arrow to the right of that. Click on that arrow and then we're going to click Share and we're going to click Share again. Now by default, only you can view the items in that folder and we're going to change that here. Down here at the bottom it says add people. Go ahead and click in that box and the first thing that we're going to do before we add any people is we're going to change the view rights. By default they it's set on can edit which means anything that you would put in this folder people would be able to open up they'd be able to make changes to it, they'd be able to share it with somebody else. And if all you're distributing is staff information like a weekly bulletin or a weekly update, you probably don't need to have them have edit rights. So we're going to change that from can edit to can view. These are edit rights for the folder and anything then that you put in this folder will have these same rights. So they'll be able to view the documents in the folder, but they will not be able to make changes to it, they won't be able to delete it, they won't be able to move the documents. So when sharing a folder of documents, it's a good idea to change it to can view. Next we can go ahead and enter the names of the people um, that we want to share this with. You can use the mailing lists that are set up. So if I want to share it with junior high staff, I can use junior high staff, the distribution list, and share it that way. When you share a folder with a mailing list, so this in, in this case junior high staff is a mailing list, in order for these people to be able to access the folder, they're going to have to click the link in the email that you send them. This is different than if you share a folder with one or two other people and you list their names specifically here. If you share folders with uh, people that you list their names specifically here, for example, if I wanted to share this with Mike and I list his name specifically here, he's going to get that folder automatically will appear in his drive. So it's not necessary that he click on the link in the email. However, if you share the folder with a mailing list, they have to click on the link in the email in order to gain access to the folder. So in that case, I would add a message and I would say, please click on the link in this, fol in this email to add the folder to your drive list. Something, something like that, so that they understand that they actually have to click that link. I would make sure you notify them via email and then we can go ahead and click share and save. Now once you have notify email checked, you click share and save and save. Each person in that mailing list will get an email saying that I've shared that folder with them. And we can tell that this is a shared folder because it has this folder icon right here. Rather than a shared document, this is a shared folder. So your staff is going to have to click on staff information or whatever the name of that folder is in order to be able to add that folder to their documents list so that they will be able, or to their drive list so that they will be able to access it. Once they click on the link in the email, it's going to open up the folder with all of the documents in it. Um, and once they've done that, they can go ahead and close this window and they can go back to their drive. Now there's two ways that they can access this folder. Um, they can go to shared with me and that shared with me and that folder should be listed there. Okay, the folder that you shared with them. If they can't see it this way, then you're going to have them click on more and go to all items, more and all items. They should be able to see that folder then here also. 
Now that's kind of a hard way to access that. It's much easier if they can click on My Drive and see the folder listed here. So um, to get that folder listed there, um, all they need to do is hold down the control key on their keyboard and click on this folder and as they drag it, notice how it says add staff information. This will add that folder to their drive list. Once my drive is highlighted, see how my drive is highlighted? I can release both the um, control key and the mouse button and that's going to add that folder to my drive. So now when I open my drive, I should be able to see that folder listed in there and I won't have to go to activity, I won't have to go to shared with me, it'll be right there in that uh, in my drive list and I can easily access the files that are in the, that folder.